hello, it is Millerboy here. Um, sorry I've not made a video for about two weeks now. My laptop broke, you see, and I've just got it fixed. But, um, well, yeah, it's fixed now, so I can get back to making my videos. Um, in my last video, I showed you how to set up an X360 USB Pro. I told you what it was. Um, if you've not watched that, feel free to go back and uh, watch it. But basically, it's just... Uh, a little tool that makes uh, flashing the Xbox 360 drive, you know, so it can play burned games a whole lot easier and a whole lot quicker. Um, so if you're interested in that, please feel free to go and check that out. Um, today's video, though, is going to be showing you how to do well, the computer side of flashing your Xbox 360 drives. Uh, now, to be specific, today I'm going to be showing you how to flash uh, Hitachi drives. Um, you see there's a few different versions, there's Samsung, there's uh, BenQ, there's Lighton, etc. Um, I'm just going to be showing you Hitachi drives. And now, this may get a little bit more confusing, as there's different types of Hitachi drives as well. Uh, please bear with me. There's, uh, well basically, the, the steps are different for all different types of drives, but uh, luckily, um, on Hitachi drives, all the steps are the same except for Hitachi 79 drives. So I'm going to be showing you the steps for um, all Hitachi drives except for Hitachi 79. Okay, and now you're thinking, okay, 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 dude. Whoa, whoa, you confuse me now. What, what, how do I, how do I find out what kind of drive I've got? Well, hopefully I'll have a video up at some point showing you how to find that out. But if it's not up right now at the time of you watching this, uh, please feel free to Google it or YouTube it, as I'm sure the information is out there. Um, so now let's let's get on with the video. Um, first of all, you're going to need two things. You're going to need a program called Jungle Flasher. This is basically the software we're going to use uh, to flash your drive. Um, you're going to need the latest version, so you don't come come into off up. To, sorry, you don't come up to any problems when you follow my steps. Um, I'll put the link in the description on where you can download that. Um, and then the second thing you're going to need is a, a folder with um, all the files in, uh, basically all the firmware that you're going to flash onto your Hitachi drive. Um, I'll also put a link in the description to where you can download that. So now, um, once you've downloaded both of them, simply go to where you extracted them and um, you should have something like this. So uh, once you open the the folder with all the firmware files in. You simply want to go over to your Jungle Flasher folder and find the folder that says Firmware. Just double click and open that. Now, inside you'll see something called Place Firmware here. So uh, let's just do, do what it says and uh, get all the firmware out of the, the folder that you downloaded and just drag it in. And it's as easy as that. So you've done that step, so you can click off that folder. Now, what you want to do is you want to go back and now you want what what you want to make sure if you I don't know what method you've used to uh, connect your Xbox drive to your computer uh, but if you have been using the X360 USB Pro make sure that is set up correctly uh, both the green lights are on your X360 USB Pro you know it's plugged into the computer uh, the Xbox is turned on and once you've done all that you're ready to go and uh, start it up so just simply double click that now if you're using the X360 USB Pro you should notice one of the green lights go to red perfectly normal that's uh, not a bad sign um, now again if you're using the X360 USB Pro you should, you should see down here um, it's detected basically um, if you don't see that then um, go back and make sure you've connected everything properly um, so let's move on so seeing as we're doing Hitachi drives today, I think it'll be uh, quite obvious to go to the Hitachi tab at the top. So let's go and click that. Now, this probably looks a bit confusing, but I'll walk you through it. Uh, first of all, you want to go to where it says Port Properties. Now, you want to click this little drop-down menu. You want to go and just click each one until you find the one that shows some information, kind of like this. Um, because I'm using the X360 USB Pro, that should always be 000, zero, zero blah blah blah. Uh, so just I'm just going to click that one. Now you should see something like this. Um, 
all this should be the same except for um some of these like the firmware that should be different well not all always you could have the same one as me but um if you've got if yours is 79 then um like i said earlier this is for all hitachi except 79 so you're gonna have to wait for my next video so once you've um got this information popping up you want to go and click this button here it says send mode b so you know let's click that now make sure you read this information very carefully uh, basically what it says is it wants you to open the drive so eject the tray and then power it off um, that doesn't mean power off your Xbox make sure you don't do that what it means is to eject the tray and then unplug the black cable with the white end out of the back that that's the power cable whether it's connected to a, a, a your power source or your Xbox um, make sure you unplug the one unplug the one with the white end um, and then once you've done that you want to click OK and then some dots will pop up on the screen that means plug it back in um, so basically I'm going to go and do that now so I've opened my DVD tray I am unplugging my cable I've unplugged the power cable um, I'm going to click OK just like that I can see some dots at the very bottom of my screen now that means I need to plug that, ca that cable back inside so make sure I plug that back in and that the dra the tray drive should close automatically and now once that's done it should say no Hitachi drives were found and then just wait a second it should just take a moment and then it should do it and then it should refresh again and say Hitachi found and there we go we're ready to move on so uh, now you want to go up to where it says uh, drive up here and now make sure you click this little drop down menu it should already be automatically selected but uh, make sure uh, it says something like this HLDT ST blah 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 if it looks like that you're ready to go like I said it already should be automatically selected but you know let's make sure uh, we did it right so now you're ready to move on to more or less the final step um, you want to go down to where it says flash LT plus so I'm going to go and click that. Now, uh, if you've done everything correctly, you can just click this button, and then it will say "dumping flash down here." Now it say it, you you should get a message popping up saying, "Flashing stability test report stable. Do you wish to continue?" You want to click yes to this, and now you should see something saying "flashing sector." This may look confusing. Just wait until everything's complete. Now you see flash complete. See if it can. Is that it? yep that's it you're done it's flashed so um yeah your xbox 360 drive is now flashed and it should be playable um it should be able to play burn games so um just unplug everything connect everything back um and then just put a game in and test to see if it works um so thank you for watching um, remember to comment rate subscribe my next few videos should be about this this again but you know with the other types of drives and the Hitachi 79 one of course um, so yep I will see you next time bye bye